for you, you decided, well, I'm going to hang out with the girls, right? You decided to hang out with the girls one night. Yeah, I, uh, well, actually, I grew up in a really, really strict religious household, so I wasn't able to uh, join anything after school. I had to be home, so I couldn't really do anything. So I used to always dream about being on TV. I used to sit in front of the, stand in front of the mirror and pretend like I was one of the actresses on TV. I even wanted to do that or marry Michael Jackson. One of those yeah. things. And um, so, I, I, and I always used to make my family laugh all the time. And when I was, a, I went to school to become a legal secretary because in my family, they didn't believe, uh, you know, that black people could work in Hollywood. So they told me to get a real job. So I became a legal secretary. But I always used to make my friends laugh. And one day, we all decided, because legal secretaries, secretaries go to bed about 8 o'clock at night because we've got to get up so early. And we all decided to go to the comedy store. And uh, I remember we went to Sizzler's, and we had all-you-can-eat shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with yeah, Sizzler and uh, the garlic bread. And then we went to the comedy store. And right before the first comedy came on, which was Andrew Dice Clay, People around me, I just started talking to people around me, they were laughing, then Andrew Dice Clay came on and he made all the women mad. And everybody kept saying, you could do that. And then I remember Eddie Griffin, you guys know Eddie Griffin, he got on stage and I remember seeing everybody, they laughed and they moved forward like this and they came back and, and because something that they could relate to made them laugh and I said, I think I wanna do that. And Eddie Griffin, I, I went up to him that same night and I said, but I'm scared to do it. And I, Ed, Eddie Griffin said this to me, I'll never forget it. He said, well, then do it scared. And that's what he said, just do it scared. Because you, you, either way, you're going to be scared and it won't get done, or you'll be scared and it will get done. And I always remember that. So the people that I, I started doing stand-up comedy, and I started with um, some guy named Jamie Foxx. Um, <laughs> If y'all see him, he owes me $50. If he get a haircut for an audition called In Living Color, he didn't have money to get a haircut, and I owe him $50. And uh, I started with uh, a, girl, uh, a girl named Monique. We just won an Oscar. We just won an Oscar. We was in a movie together. Yes. And uh, uh, D.O. Hughley and Chris Tucker, we all started together doing stand-up. And, and I, we just used to sit and dream. And uh, we did it scared, so that's how I started. You know, Sherry, tell me about that moment. You were talking about being scared, because I think we can all relate to being scared. You're feeling insecure, stepping out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Walk us through that. I mean, every day, even even before they say, I mean, you guys are in school when The View comes on, but um, even when they say, welcome the ladies of The View, I'm going, is there somewhere I can throw up? You know, because <laughs> you get scared, and, and it's, it's something that I fight all the time um, because you, you feel like even being an actress, you're scared if you, you're not going to get the part. You get the part and then you're scared that you're not going to be able to pull it off and then you're scared that you're not going to be able to remember your line. So it always is there. But I just go, well, you know what? Let me just try it because I think a lot of other people around me are scared too. So we're all scared people. But you just, you, you just try to do it anyway. So. Um, I've learned to live with it and go, okay, friend, I, I hear you. Okay, now go away because I got stuff to do. But she always comes back every once in a while. And uh, I, I, was, excuse me, I was scared to come up here. <laughs> <laughs>